up guys i'm back at it again with another video and if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so we all know what the app tiktok is and if you don't you can go ahead and check it out it's pretty much the new instagram the new youtube it's literally blowing up most of you may know that that is how my social media accounts have just blown up is from tiktok because i guess you could call me tiktok famous and you can find me on famous birthdays now as a tiktok star so, so let's start my tiktok career story so <clears throat> super crazy but i started my tiktok account at the end of august of this year and that is super crazy because it is now november so it's been about three months and i am at over 555,000 followers on tiktok as you guys all know that tiktok used to be called musically which musically i used to make those when i was younger and I loved those videos. I made them all the time. And no, I was not getting followers at all because that's when it was not as big as it is right now. So I wanted to go back and take the videos from my Musical.ly, which I had all of them saved in my camera roll. And I wanted to create new ones of me now on my TikTok. Okay, and go back to the first video that I created on my TikTok account. I literally made a video with my cousin right here and it was literally just us dancing like it wasn't anything and that did not make us blow up not at all now a couple about a week later I posted a video of me basically going from one outfit to another it's that one where it's eh, fresh off the runway <laughs> yeah that little one and that one started going uh, like getting more views and then that next morning i posted a tiktok of a throwback thursday song which was this one where it was like first let me hop out my porsche i don't want to hit that yes that one and now that i look at it that is so cringy like what was i doing even though all of my tiktoks are literally cringy that one is so cringy and for that to have made my tiktok career start is so crazy to me like it's so bad that video brings me into my first tip for you guys which is be yourself because in that video i was literally myself like First of all, we all know I cannot dance. I can't dance at all. I may act like I can dance. I may try and freaking spend hours to try and learn these TikTok dances, but I cannot dance at all. I used to when I was younger, like I used to be breaking it and busting it down on the dance floor, but not anymore. So just be yourself, be goofy. If you're like, just don't care what other people think. Don't read any of your comments nothing just be yourself so my next tip number two is lighting lighting is key you need that fire lighting like in that video that made me blow up i literally had my phone sitting up in front of the window and i was like oh hold on this lighting hitting different so i literally was like yeah i'm I'm gonna film a video right now and that is when it literally happened so if you don't have good lighting like here let me give you a little like analysis so if you're scrolling through your for you page which is what you want to make it on if you're scrolling through your for you page and a video pops up and it's blurry or it's like dark and I don't know if you guys know, but how on an iPhone, if you're filming like in the dark, like it's kind of pixelated a lot. 
Well, if you're scrolling through your For You page and that pops up on there, you're not gonna wanna watch that. Like, same with YouTube. Like, you don't wanna watch a video that has awful lighting because then you're just like, well, what the heck is this? Like, why am I watching this? So you gotta have that bomb lighting. And my recommendations for good lighting in front of a window, outside, get the sunlight, have that popping on you. Uh, get a ring light. So actually, let me show you guys this ring light. Okay. So I have obviously like a really big ring light, um, which you can literally order them off of Amazon. That's literally where I ordered mine. You can get any kind of ring light. They all literally work the same. They all do the same thing. Now, let me show you guys this little cute ring light that I freaking found. So if you guys are doing up, like filming up close TikTok videos, this ring light I got from Walmart and it's literally an elf ring light. You press the button on the top and it's like this and you clamp it onto the front of your phone like this and that is literally how you film your video. So it's like this. Look at the difference. See that? Compared to this. Like, extremely, like, you can literally tell that that's an extremely different, like, what? And then you'd be like feeling yourself and be like, okay, and then take a couple selfies, throw that in there. But I literally recommend getting one of these. And I think it was literally like $5 for a freaking ring light, like a little one. But... If you are looking to get a ring light, like a big one, I definitely would get yours off of Amazon or anywhere online. I mean, you can always pick them up in stores, but I just got mine off Amazon. So, the next tip that I have for you, which is tip three, is be consistent. Like, constantly post. And because, <clears throat> listen. If you're on TikTok and you're on your For You page and some video is going viral right now and you go to click on the profile and there's only, that's their only video. Why would you follow them if they're, if that's their only video, you know? Like you want to have a bunch of videos so that people can follow your profile and start watching your other videos. Now that's what happened to me. So when that video of mine had blown up, people then started going back to my older videos and started watching them and all of those started, like all those views started slowly rising and now they're all like up there. But if you're literally posting a video and say that one video goes viral and that's your only video, people are not gonna wanna follow you because you only have one video or say you only have like three videos. Like people want, people love content. They want content. They want to be able to watch your videos and see who you are and see how you are and see how you act. So literally post, post as many as you want, but make sure that lighting bomb and be yourself. Now, for the fourth tip that I have is use trending hashtags. So in your captions, you always want to put a hashtag. I always put for you page hashtag and hashtag FYP because that is what you want to make it on. You want to make it onto the for you page. So there is also a bunch of trending hashtags which will be on your front page. So when you go to search someone's name, there is like, um, I don't even know how you describe it. There's the trending stuff. So you can literally scroll down and you can find the trending hashtags and you Literally, I would write them down or whatever and use those because that will be what gets people to check it out because if they search that hashtag and your video pops up, maybe they want to watch your video. So always use hashtags like 100%. I totally recommend using hashtags because that is also how I got on the For You page because I had used, I had good lighting, I was myself because I don't know how to dance. I literally had videos before so I was consistent and then I had all those hashtags in my caption. 
And for the last tip that I have for you guys is post videos that are trending. Like use the sounds that are trending. So use trending sounds pretty much. Go on your For You page and see what videos people are doing, like what sounds they're using and try those out or create your own. Like use your own funny ones because those are funny too. So it always like depends on the sounds because if it's like a weird sound and no one's using it, then don't use it. Use either your original one or use some that are trending because that will get you on the For You page. So let's go over what we learned today in this video. So number one, be yourself. Number two, lighting. Make sure that lighting is fire. You want it to be hitting you so different that then be like, okay, this lighting girl go crazy. Third one, is be consistent post so much content because one of them is bound to go viral like one of them like just post constantly go crazy fourth one use trending hashtags use the for you page hashtag make sure to literally go through and see what other people use as their hashtags and the last one is use trending sounds Go and look at what other people use for their sounds. Make an original sound if you want to, to be different, but use the trending sounds 100% because that is what's gonna get you where you need to be. But overall, I hope that this guys this helps you guys out. I honestly have, n I still don't really know how to work TikTok that much. Like. I literally know how to film a video, upload, caption. Like, I don't know that much about TikTok. So, I hope that these help you because they helped me. And that's the reason that I am where I am right now. And I hope that this helps you guys to become TikTok famous or at least get some more followers or something like that. But make sure to literally use these five tips because they will 100% help you. And if they don't, I'm so sorry, like, I tried. Those are the only tips that I have, but <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. It's still so crazy to me that, like, I don't know, I'm TikTok famous. Like, people actually know who I am, and it's so weird, but I kind of like it. So, also, if you are TikTok famous, do not read your comments. Don't. Honestly, don't. Because... There's some haters out there. And you know what? Haters are my freaking motivators. So that's it for this video. Okay, I'm literally so weird. Okay, anyways. That's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I hope that this helps you. And if it did, make sure to comment down below and let me know how everything goes for you. And subscribe. We out. Now tell me what I gotta do to make you mine for a lifetime. <laughs>